Hi everyone, I'm Sergio with Mobility Direct, and today we're going to go on a virtual test drive with the Triax Sport Mobility Scooter. I have the Triax Sport, and I just want to explain that we are using a 360 degree camera. So, if you're on a smartphone, you can grab your phone while watching this video and turn from left to right to change the viewing angle of the video. So if you actually want it to look behind you, you can turn your phone around just like I'm doing and you'll see our cameraman Chuck. Now I'm gonna take the camera from Chuck here and I'm gonna show you that with the 360 degree camera, you can actually see everything in the shop right now, what's in front of me, behind me, to the right, to the left, up, down. Again, all you have to do is use your smartphone and tilt it or rotate it and it should work if you have a modern smartphone. If you're on a desktop or a laptop, you just need to click and drag on the screen on the screen of the video player to change the viewpoint of the camera angle. It's pretty awesome and allows you to see just what it's like to ride one of these scooters, which is why we make these virtual test drive videos. Now, enough of me talking. I'm going to show you this scooter up close. It's the Triax Sport. It's one of the only folding mobility scooters that can hold up to 350 pounds with a motor that's powerful enough to go up to 15 miles per hour. So we're gonna take it for a little test drive now. I'm gonna turn the ignition on, it's already on. We've got a basket on the front. Now I can manually push this scooter with my feet and walk it out of the door because it does not have an electromagnetic braking system like most mobility scooters. This has manual brakes. So you have to use the handbrake on the left-hand side. So with that being said, I'm gonna be careful because I will be recording and we're gonna go for a little test drive. Because this is a fast scooter, I'm not gonna go in a store. I'm gonna take this off-road and see how fast this bad boy goes. Most people buy it because of the speed. Some people buy it because of the fact that it can fold and hold 350 pounds. I'll be back, Chuck, thanks for your help. See you, bye. And we're gonna show you just how fast it is. So I'm on speed one right now, and I'm gonna show you with the camera, you see the button there, the switch on the left-hand throttle with the light switch. Just under the light switch, we've got speed one, two, and three. I'm on speed one right now. And I'm gonna go down this hill. Now I have to use my feet right now because I don't wanna run into traffic. But basically we have speed one, speed two, and speed three. I also have a horn and I have my forward and my reverse switch. So right now we're in forward mode. If I twist the throttle, it goes forward. And what I'm gonna do is go around the back of the plaza here where we can turn up the speed to speed three and really feel how fast this thing goes. So we're on a straightaway here. I'm in speed three, let's gun it. All right, right away I can feel it going pretty quick. 15 miles per hour is its top speed. I don't know if we're hitting 15 just yet. And this road is a little bit on the bumpy side, so I am hearing some bumps, but it definitely goes pretty fast, that's for sure. So if you want something that has speed, this would be probably one of the better options. Now that I'm out here with some natural light, I wanna go ahead and kind of just do a walk around of the scooter so you could see what it looks like in its natural form. So on the rear side, we do have a rack that you can use to pull out and that will allow you to secure some storage. Like if you wanted to put a cargo crate back there, you could bungee tie it to it, no problem. And you can also probably put a little suitcase on there if you needed to as well. It does have a front basket, so you can put some belongings in. It is detachable. Overall, this scooter is meant for high speed maneuvering and a heavier weight capacity. So I'm gonna actually tuck that, that rail back in now and get ready to keep riding. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. There we go. And I think that's what was rattling a little bit. So if you hear a little rattling, it's probably that. But if you can put up with a little bit of rattling, uh, you could probably dampen that rattling by putting a little twist tie to it or something like that. But it is fast. So if you're looking for speed, this may so solve your need for speed. Now we do offer this product for sale tax-free. Shipping is free as well at mobilitydirect.com. 
Not to mention we do have a great reputation for customer service when you need it. So if you need to file a warranty claim, get replacement parts like a battery or tires or what have you, we will take care of you. We'll not only sell it to you at a good price, we'll get it to you as quickly as we can and provide great communication from the time that you place your order to the time that it ships. We're also local to South Florida, but we do sell online nationwide with free shipping. So if you're in South Florida and you need service, you can bring your scooter down to our shop. We have a couple of different shops in South Florida and we'd be happy to service your Triax or any other mobility scooter as long as we have access to their parts and accessories. So this is just about going to conclude our virtual test drive. The only other thing I really haven't shown you is the reverse mode, but it's as easy as just changing that lever from, or that switch from forward to reverse. And then the twist throttle on the right hand side is what controls your movement. So if you put it in reverse, the twist throttle is just gonna basically work the same way, but instead of moving you forward, you're gonna go backwards. Now I do wanna go on grass just for a moment to show you that it can perform on grass not extremely well. As you can see, it will get stuck if the grass is not maintained very well, but if it's maintained grass, it should ride pretty good on grass. It's not meant for grass, but again, if you've got enough speed and the grass is not too soft and well-maintained, it should perform well. If you want something for off-roading with high speed, we do have a ton of other options to consider visit our website mobilitydirect.com for more information i hope you have found this video helpful thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe leave a comment below like the video if you found it helpful and go to our website to request a free catalog in case you don't have one already our catalog has all of our latest products promotions and company news thank you again for watching have a great day